summer of 2013, the coconut rhinoceros beetle was first discovered on Joint Base Pearl Harbor, Hickam. A few months later, state and federal agencies cut down 150 coconut trees to stop the spread of these invasive species. The coconut rhino beetle is no friend to our Hawaiian paradise, attacking our coconut trees and thus attacking our economy and tourist industry. No visitor to Hawaii could imagine vacationing here without any swaying coconut trees. In addition, the coconut rhino beetle has the capability to destroy our native Hawaiian culture as it has the potential to destroy our taro, banana, and coconut trees, which were once brought over from Tahiti by our first Hawaiian settlers centuries ago. Zach Potter, field supervisor for the State Department of Agriculture, explains one way they are attempting to eradicate these species by setting up traps in various parts of Oahu. So far, 2,800 traps have been set. Basically, when we go out to service traps, we have four teams. Each team consists of about six to eight people, and we'll service traps throughout the whole island. We have 2,800 traps deployed throughout the whole island. What we'll do is we'll service each of these panel, panel traps about once every two weeks. Um, when we do a service, we are checking to make sure that the panel trap is in correct condition and also that if there's a beetle find in it or not. So basically how the trap works is it has two attractants. It has a pheromone lure right here that attracts a beetle through smell. So the way it works is it's a pheromone aggregate lure. It acts as a breeding, it smells like a breeding site so it'll attract both the males and the females to the trap. And it also has a UV LED light that simulates moonlight. So basically it charges during the day and at night it'll light up. So since the beetles are nocturnal, we primarily catch them at night. Um, what happens is the beetle gets attracted to the two attractants, it'll hit the panel and it'll fall into the collection cup. And what we do when we go around is we just open up the collection cup and see if there's any beetles inside. So like I said, we service the traps, at least each trap once every two weeks. Um, because we have so many traps out, it's hard to get to them weekly. Um, but we will concentrate more on our areas that we have more beetle finds. Okay, when we hang these in the tree, we like to hang them about 8 to 12 feet high. Uh, the way they stay in the tree is we have this modified hook right here. So these hooks kind of go up around the tree branches and kind of just hang on to them like that. So the way that we get them down is we use this servicing pull. So as you can see, the tip is modified to go ahead and slip through this hole at the top. So we can then get them up, down from the tree, and back up. If you see any trap on the ground or any coconut rhino beetles, please call the Stop Rhino Beetle Hotline at 808-643-PEST. And let's all join forces to battle the spread of the invasive species that can destroy our Hawaii. I'm Sarah Peterson from Kawaii Huna Okunawao Public Charter School. Awiho e malama pono.